and it looks like something is out of alignment right here. After surviving two car crashes, Rasan Smith lives in constant pain. His partner suffers from multiple sclerosis. They say their chiropractor and cannabis are the only things that help them cope. Cannabis, honestly, it relieves the pain. It does. It doesn't completely take it away, but it soothes it to a point that I can actually have a sustained life. But they say the high that comes with using medical marijuana makes it tough to function. There are times when I have things to do, and I have to decide either to deal with the pain or risk not being able to accomplish what I need to get done that day. But now patients can say goodbye to the buzz. You're looking at a newly identified strain of cannabis that experts say is high in the healing compounds called CBD, but contain low levels of euphoric producing THC. One of the great benefits of CBD rich medicine is that we are able to deliver the medical effects of cannabis to patients without the psychoactive effects, which many patients see as undesirable side effects. Steve D'Angelo of the Harborside Health Center calls the discovery a major breakthrough. One of the demonstrated effects of CBD in laboratory animals is that it slows, stops, or in some cases even reverses the growth of cancer tumors. That's like Eureka. David Lampak of Oakland Steep Hill Lab identified the strain. While research on CBD is still limited, he says it's like striking gold. We thought, wow. Uh, here's a whole new, a whole new angle on cannabis that we really never knew existed. I think there's a lot of people who need cannabis for their medical conditions and don't want to get high. And those people, for those people, CBD is, is a very good thing. Smith and his partner are excited to try the new strain for themselves. I am pretty active. I do still drive and. With cannabis, I'm not able to do those things, but with this, uh, this new product, I'd be able to. The Harborside Health Center has a limited supply of the CBD strain, but they hope to be carrying much more in the near future. In Oakland, Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.